We've got Nona Peltier in the studio. Um, so Nona, Briscoe's Group, right? Homewares, sporting retail, all the rest of it. It is not up another record annual result. Yeah, they keep doing very well despite some serious financial pressures out there. So there, you know, we've talked a lot about consumer mm. sentiment and people not wanting to open up their wallet and spend. Uh, never, the, never mind though. Briscoe still managed to make a profit, a record profit, up uh, 3% on last year to 63.4 million, and that is what uh, they were expecting to make. So good on them. I spoke with Rod Duke, who's the managing director of the group, and he's a pretty clever retailer. He's saying it's tough out there. The uh, you know the, the fluctuations in fuel prices has hit uh, the cost of, of course, transport. But in addition to that, he said there's a lot of uncertainty that's making consumers wary, and uh, so he's expecting a tough year ahead. And he said actually labor costs too will be a bit of a burden. You know, minimum wage, for example, is going to go up what over 20 percent over the next two years. All of these costs are adding to the you know to the cost of doing business for retail. Did he say why he thinks he's still going great guns in that environment? You know what he does? He he goes and. He's a very clever fella. He goes out to talk to his suppliers, and because he's big, he manages to squeeze them on that end so he doesn't have to pass it on to consumers. So he's clever at that. But I guess, you know, at some point, everything has to give. Anyway, look, the share price was uh, up one cent to $3.39 on that result, which was what the market was expecting. Overall, our index, our top 50 index, ended up six points to 9397 And that dollar that Rod Duke was talking about is is really, you know, 68.4 US cents. That's pretty high. 96.7 Australian. And that's just, you know, we're building on that one. And, but interestingly, the pants has fallen 51.8. And that's because no one's exactly which, you know, which way the Brexit's going to go. Brexit we're going to have a vote tomorrow. And then, you know, depending on how that goes, we might have to have another one and then another one this week. We'll You'll see. tell us exactly what it means for the dollar tomorrow. Nona. Well, it will be me or someone else, perhaps. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for joining us. That's Nona Peltier with our business news.